Father Alex Balatbat, I was assigned by our bishop here as the administrator of the Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House. The Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House is located inside the St. Michael compound, St. Michael Retreat House, San Jose Extension, San Isidro Antipolo City. Araw sa inyong lahat, the Synod frequently insisted on the need for a prayerful approach to the sacred text as fundamental element in the spiritual life of every believer in the various ministries and states in life with particular reference to Lectio Divina. Ang ibig kong mangyari ay palalimin ang spirituality ng mga clergy at laity sa Diocese of Antipolo. Sabi nga ni St. Jerome, Ignorance of the Scripture is ignorance of Christ. Kaya nga, pupunta sa inyong mga parokya ang mga laity na may kasamang mga pare upang ituro unang-una sa inyong Paris Pastoral Council, ang pamamaraan ng Lectio Divina, ituturo nila sa iba't ibang mga organization at ministries. At sana makaabot hanggang sa periperis ng inyong parokya upang dumating ng araw lahat na tayo gagawa nito. Isang mapagpalang buhay para sa ating lahat. Buhay na pinagpala na galing sa kapangyarihan ng salita ng Diyos. Nilikha niya ang lahat sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng salita. At higit sa kapangyarihan ng salitang lumikha, ang salita ay naging tao at nakipanayam sa atin. 
niyakap niya ang ating pagkatao. At sa pagyakap niya sa ating pagkatao, nabigyan niya tayo ng pagkakataong yakapin ang Diyos. Ang Lectio Divina sa kapangyarihan ng Banal na Spirito, hinahayaan niya tayo na ang layunin ay makita ang mga bagay-bagay sa buhay ayon sa mismong pananaw ng Diyos. Let this be our prayer. Lord, allow me to see the way you see. Allow me to know the way you know. Allow me to understand the way you understand. Allow the word of Jesus to transform us into the very heart of the Lord. Puso ni Jesus, pag-iisip ni Jesus, pananaw ni Jesus. Ito ang nilalayon ng pagdiriwang ng leksyon divina. Mayroon tayong apat na pamamaraan na makatutulong sa pagdiriwang ng leksyon divina. Sa leksyon divina, ang Diyos ang magtuturo ng lahat. Leksyon. Ano ang sinasabi ng pagbasa? Basahin ng bukas ang puso. Bigyang pansin ng kapaligirang nakasaad sa kwento ang mga taong nakasangkot. Mga salitang ginamit ang daloy ng kwento. Pasukin ang kwento. Meditatio. Ano ang sinasabi ng Ibanghelyo sa atin? May mensahe bang katulad ng sa ating kwento sa buhay? Maaaring sunda ng pangyayari, nasaan tayo dito? Sino ka dito? Habang nagsasalita si Jesus, ano ang iyong naririnig? Dito papasok ang karanasan ng pagtatagpo ng puso ng tao at ng kalooban ng Diyos. Oracho, panalangin. Sa mga narinig natin sinabi ng Diyos, ano ang tugon natin sa Diyos? Inaanyayahan tayong itaas natin ang ating kalooban sa Kanya. Ang tugon sa tawag ng Diyos. Ang tugon sa Kanyang sinasabi. Ang tugon sa Kanyang salita. Ang panalangin ito mga kapatid ay lalong magaganap na napakaganda sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng Espiritu ng Diyos. Contemplatio. Sa paanong paraan binago ng pagbasa ang ating pananaw sa buhay at itong pagtingin ito ang siyang mag-aakay sa atin sa kung anong konkretong pagkilos ang ating gagawin bilang pagtugon sa turo ng Diyos na hubuhubo sa atin. Lectio Divina invites us to have a deeper communion with God. I am the vine. You are the branches. Every time branches are connected to the vine, we will bear much fruit. Ang Lectio Divina, idinudugtong tayo ng mas malalim sa puso ng Diyos. Kung saan ang kalooban ng Diyos, ang siya rin nating nagiging kalooban. Ano nga ba ang kalooban ng Diyos? Ang gumawa ng mabuti, ang magmahal, ang maglingkod, isa buhay kung ano ang kanyang niluloo. Ito ang layunin ng Lectio Divina. I've been serving God for almost 40 years now. And if I forget my why, why I do what I do, why I serve, why I preach, why I get up in the morning, everything is gone. And the only way for me to rediscover and embrace my why is by getting into the Word, by listening to His voice through scripture and in the depths of my heart. Go forth and serve God. Be His light in the world by allowing His light to shine every day through Lectio Divina.
Good morning. Today is Thursday of 25th week in ordinary time, and our mass presider is Reverend Father Alexander Balatbat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Lady of Mercy, we celebrate the Eucharist. In a very special way, we offer this Mass for the healing and peace in our country. We also pray for the gift of life. We pray for the special intention of our sister, Lita Lee, with all her intentions and for her family as she celebrates her birthday today. We also pray for the birthday of Erwin Bulatao and Father Dars Cabral. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. God, our Creator, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, our Savior, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. God, our destiny, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May all loving God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, the Lady of Mercy, come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, and free us from every danger so that we may rejoice in your peace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, says Koheleth, vanity of vanities, all things are vanity. What profit has man from all the labor which he toils at under the sun? One generation passes and another comes, but the world forever stays. The sun rises and the sun goes down, then it presses on to the place where it rises. Blowing now toward the south, then toward the north, the wind turns again and again, resuming its rounds. All rivers go to the sea, yet never does the sea become full. To the place where they go, the rivers keep on going. All speech is labored, there is nothing one can say. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor is the ear satisfied with hearing. What has been, that will be. What has been done, that will be done. Nothing is new under the sun. Even the thing of which we say, 
See, this is new, has already existed in the ages that preceded us. There is no remembrance of the men of old, nor of those to come will there be any remembrance among those who come after them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, in every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening, and he was greatly perplexed because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. But Herod said, John, I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Ang bilis lumipas ng araw, umaga ngayon, isang kisap mata lang, parang gabi na. Dati, bata pa tayo, ngayon ay nagkakaedad na. Minsan sa mga kaibigan kong nagbe-birthday, nako, nadagdagan na naman ang age ko. Huwag kang malungkot. That is a blessing that was not given to many. Many die young. For us, getting older is a grace-filled moment. But in the first reading, the book of Ecclesiastes is saying, vanity of all vanity, everything passes away. Habang binabasa ko ito, parang may malungkot sa sinasabi ni Kohelet. The book of Kohelet, the book of Ecclesiastes. One generation passes and another comes, but the world forever stays. The sun rises and the sun goes down. All speech is labored. There is nothing one can say. 
and the eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor is the ear satisfied with hearing. Minsan, kausap ko ang kapatid ko because my mother is undergoing dialysis. Ang sabi sa akin ng aking brother, Father, antabayanan mo si mama na maunawaan ang lahat ay may hangganan. As if when my brother was talking to me, I was hearing the words of Kohelet, the book of Ecclesiastes. May hangganan ang lahat. At bigla akong napangiti, sabi ko sa kanya, Totoo ang lahat ay may hangganan. Pero ano ang hangganan? Ang hangganan ay ang Diyos. Most probably this was missed by Kohelet in his writing here. We are not there to be sad, but to live in absolute, complete happiness because of the presence of God. May hangganan ang lahat, pero ang hangganan ay ang Diyos. Ako ang simula at ang wakas, ang nakaraan, ang kasalukuyan, ang hinaharap. Every day is a blessing. Today, those who are celebrating their birthday together with the feast of the Our Lady of Mercy, give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His love endures forever. In a very special way, we are mentioning the people who are close to us in the retreat house. Ate Lita Lee, Father Dars Cabral, Erwin Bulatao, your birthday today together with the, the Lady of Mercy. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His love endures forever. And today, we're celebrating the Feast of the Our Lady of Mercy. Kaya ngayon mga pangalan ninyo, mas maganda dagtagan. Mercedes Lita, Mercedes Dario, Mercedes Erwin. Because your life is a gift of the God of Mercy. The Lady of Mercy Mama Mary is called the Lady of Mercy because in her womb, he, she bore the embodied mercy of God, no other than the Lord. The apparition of the Our Lady of Mercy in the year 1203 to Pedro Nolasco together with Raymond of Peñafort and King James of Aragon is communicating to us the liberation of the captives from the imprisonment of the time. And up to now, the lady is telling us, liberate ourselves from imprisonment of fear, of hopelessness, of pain because we have a God who is merciful. Magandang tanong, bakit buhay pa tayo? Like the Blessed Mother, to be an instrument of hope to the hopeless. To be a light in darkness and let Jesus the embodiment of God's mercy continuously shine in your life. Maging liwanag, maging pag-asa, maging kagalakan ng lahat. 
my prayer for you is not just to be happy. My prayer for all of you is to be an instrument of God's mercy that all people you will meet will be happier after your meeting. Let God's heart be in you. Let the lady who bore Jesus, the embodiment of God's mercy, be always with you. Let Jesus be in your heart. I receive, we receive a message from our Bishop Francis this morning. I want to share to you this beautiful sacred statement of prayer. In God's mind, everyone is a new day full of love, mercy, and compassion. In God's eyes, everyone is beautiful, loving, and forgiving. In God's heart, love is everywhere. In God's hand, everything is possible, promising. In God's time, the best for us will always be given. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never come to an end. They are new every morning. New every morning. Great is His faithfulness, O Lord. Amen. We are aware that there is much evil in the world because Jesus has overcome evil by His death and resurrection. We ask God that goodness may be victorious Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pilgrim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithfully bearing witness to Christ in word and deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations may give up the senseless race to have more powerful weapons of war and that they instead learn to live together in harmony and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are persecuted because of their beliefs may succeed in winning their freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may receive the comfort of God's love from those engaged in caring for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world and enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.
my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the all-loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer you, O Lord, these offerings of conciliation and praise, humbly asking that following the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Lady of Mercy, we may present our very selves as a holy sacrifice pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age, when you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say... Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Jesus. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are going to partake in his sacred broken body. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having nourished us with heavenly food, O Lord, grant that according to the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may serve you in purity of life and magnify you with her in wholehearted praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on Immaculate us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for Saint us. Saint John Mary Vianney, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Saint Mother Teresa, pray for us. Allow me to give a special blessing to the birthday celebrants for the month of September, especially those who are celebrating their birthday today. Atelita Lee, uh, Brother Erwin Bulatao, Father Dars Cabral. Ama naming mapagmahal, salamat sa biyaya ng buhay, salamat sa iyong pag-aantabay. Basbasan mo po ang mga kapatid naming nagdiriwang ng kaarawan. Patuloy mo silang bigyan ng lakas ng pangangatawan, liwanag ng isip, kagalakan ng puso. Gawin mo silang instrumento ng pag-asa at kalayaan ng mga taong nabibihag ng kalungkutan at kawalang pag-asa. Sila'y iyong mga anak, yakapin mo sila ng iyong mapagmahal na puso at nawa ang kanilang buhay ay maging buhay na pagpapahayag ng iyong pagmamahal sa lahat sa ngala ni Kristo, aming Panginoon. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May all loving God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
I am slain for all. 